<laughs> Daryl's in Colorado. How, how you doing, Daryl? Hey, Daryl. Uh, yeah, Daryl. Yeah, I've yeah, got that's some trout with whirling disease. Trout with whirling disease. All okay. right. You ever heard of that? You bet. Sure. It's. Um, a, uh, are they safe to eat, and can we put some other <coughs> fish in the pond? Are they safe to eat, and can you put other fish in the pond? Yeah, I tell you, I tell you, Daryl. What, here's what I think you need to do. I think you need to get in touch with Mike Mitchell from Longmont, Colorado, uh, Queen of the River Consultants, and visit with him about it. The uh, the trout. I don't. It's not going to bother you to eat them, but once they have whirling disease, they spread it. Uh, I think you need to quarantine the pond. I don't think I would put any more fish in it until you figure out just exactly what the problem is and where it came from. If, did it come from the fish that you had? Uh, I would call Mike Mitchell and talk to him about it. All right. There you go. That was a simple enough answer. I hope it helped. Um, I was about to ask you a question. Ray, I completely lost what it was. I was so fixed on your answer there, Bob. Uh, on your property, do you have one large pond, or how, how many ponds do you have? Well, I've got a total, a whole total place. I guess I've got about four ponds, really, one, two, three, four, yes, five, as a matter of fact. But that ranges from about three acres up to 50 acres. Right. And uh, they vary, but I don't... I you don't, pretty much never have to leave your property, do you? Well, no, I mean, don't have to, but, you know, I, I just think that... I just love them. It, to me, a pond is like a garden. I've got a garden, mm -hmm. and I've got a guy that helps me with a garden. It's not sure. a farm, it's a garden. Right. But I raise tomatoes and all the good stuff, but I just love a garden. I can manipulate it, and you can do the same with ponds if you just know the basics, not complicated. Right. And by the way... I don't own this thing, but he's got a magazine. If you don't have a magazine called Pond Boss, you make the big mistake. Because I'm telling you, the answers are there. It's a network of knowledge that, that all the questions we get are answered in that magazine. Pond Boss magazine. Now, it's not mine, it's his. But it works, and I've been subscribing it uh, with it for, I guess, close to 10 years, Bob. You have. And it's, uh, it's a remarkable way to find that answer to these questions we get in the night. I don't have, um, I have a few catfish. You get a few cat. I don't like cat. I like cat, but I don't want them necessarily to compete with my bass sure. and my bluegill. But I've got a few, and they come in with the birds, the, the birds that fly from pond to pond, and they come in for your neighbors, and they've got the eggs on their feet, and kabam, you got a few catfish. I don't hurt a thing. I enjoy them. I like them. But I don't stock them. You know, right. God puts them in, in the birds. I don't have a thing to do with that. But I love it. It's not, if you don't have a pond, if you've got a pond, Learn how to enhance it. It's a game you can play. You can manipulate it. You can make it what you want to make, and it's not all that complicated. If you make a mistake, you can correct it. It's not that difficult. good on sourdough. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I love catfish to eat, and there's nothing wrong with the cat, but I just prefer the bass and bluegill and those guys. That's fair. Everybody's entitled to their opinion.